So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges plus Eververse and A to 1, not in that order, but that's what we're going to be doing. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So remember, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification. That really does help. And other than that, let's get into it. So seasonal, ugh, seasonal challenges, Pale Heart Traveler, collect and place Traveler collectibles in the Pale Heart. This one, I've collected one or two, I think. I don't know where they're all at. I need to do this. Um... But yeah, just look up a guide, not that hard. A new collapse, confront the, the witness and conclude the light and dark saga. I'm assuming it's the, the mission that we got after the day one was completed or the, uh, one team completed. It's over here real quick. If you guys don't know, it's really, really cool. Um, this right here, excision. It's really cool. 12 players, which is really cool. Really cool cutscene at the end as well. Uh, I teared up a little because of just how cool it was but I am indeed a big bitch when it comes to that. So yeah, emotional. Uh, scratch the surface, complete act one, part one of the a rising chorus, which I think this is the seasonal activity or seasonal story, I should say, which I will have the seasonal story up probably by tomorrow. Um, this video as well probably will come out tomorrow, which is should be Thursday for you guys. And I'm gonna start pushing out a lot of the content that I have, but I'll talk about that at the end of the video. So research and development one, complete the research quest for specimen ID uh, NES 001. So this is just story stuff. Again, like I said, just complete the story and you'll complete this eventually. Learning computer, increase your reputation rank with failsafe in the helm. This one wasn't hard. I just completed a few of the activities, which was fine. Uh, simulated rock and stone, deposit 200 uh, G of radio light samples at the, at the researcher bay aboard the helm. So this one isn't hard either. It's just, you have to remember to do it. It's in the activity. Um, I think after the first encounter, you like these uh, radiolarian like crystals open up and you just have to find them. Uh, if I if I remember, I'll put it up right now, like the, how they look, but it's basically like a ball. It kind of looks like a flower. Pick those up and sometimes you'll get like some that are like 25. I think a hundred was a good uh, one as well, but it's usually around 10 or 15 that you're, you'll get. So you, you'll need a lot of them. Failsafe cracker one open ec echo chest after completing any episode ec echoes activity. So this is going to be the main activity. There's I think an exotic quest as well. There's a few things that you can be doing, but for me, I just ended up doing the main activity because uh, why not? And also that's how you get, that's how I'm getting the armor, which is funnily enough right here, but auto cannon analyst defeat combatants in episode echoes breach ex executable using auto rifles and hand cannons earn bonus progress for using seasonal weapons. So I double dipped, um, auto rifles and hand cannons specifically. There is an auto can or auto cannon. There is an auto rifle and a hand cannon in the seasonal weapon. So that's why it says bonus for those weapons. Definitely do it. It. I got these fast. Like I did all of these without even thinking about it. Uh, echo, echoing firepower. It's the same thing, but instead of uh, auto, auto rifle and hand cannon, it's rocket launchers and scout rifles, which again, they are seasonal weapons for those as well. And then analyze defenses, collect pieces of seasonal armor. I haven't completed this because getting the armor is quite a bitch, but uh, yeah, just do the the activity. That's what I've been doing, grinding that out because uh, that's pretty much it for that. But let me show you or tell you real quick i should say so here is fail safe once you go to her you have the the main things that you could see where you can like get armor or weapons and whatnot specifically i don't know if this was pr how it was previously in the seasons but i don't remember them being this bad but you can only acquire things that you've already gotten in collections so you can't get anything new from from fail safe everything you get from her you've already gotten before so you're going to have to do the arena breach executable or enigma protocol. I'm assuming this one also is going to give you stuff. The only reason I haven't done it is because the power cap for this is two, uh, 2005, which is pretty terrible considering I'm barely like at 1980. So this is, I, I tried to run it, could not do it. Uh, this one going to be super easy. Um, and you get powerful stuff as well. Pinnacle stuff as well. So I definitely would probably do the pinnacle later because I don't need pinnacle right now. I'm still doing through still going through powerful stuff but that's pretty much it uh for seasonal trends let me know what you guys are going to be completing again uh, i'm gonna try to be completing as much as i can so that way at the end of the episode i'm not like doing what i did in season of the wish where i was trying to like finish all of these within a week or whatever so 
yeah let me know what you guys think about these seasonal challenges for 801 we have let me see real quick genotype null zero which i like this one a lot also this is kind of spoilerish because this is an armor set that i'm going to be using for the new armor but if you've watched my content before you guys will know you guys will know the chest arm and boot combination i've used in a few of my videos but this is my fucking ronin look which i think looks amazing uh the mud mad monk two of those shaders are from the same expansion which is funny i think the mad monk is a dope shader definitely pick it up it's a really good black which is why i like it a lot and then dead orbits fate which is an old one this is actually the first shader that we that came out so her one of them definitely pick this one up i do think black and white is pretty good especially this one uh especially since it gives you like a very kind of fucked up look it's not like super black or i should say it's not like really dark black because super black is a shader um yeah i still would recommend this one and then for the armor they're all right here i'm gonna go to collections real quick i don't remember the armor off the top of my head for all of the other classes um I'm also going to be doing a video for the playlist web armor that came out because I didn't know we were getting any. Sadly, they are uh, like identical. So for any of you who are like, oh, maybe we can get some different. No, all of them are the same. It's just has different um, shaderings and whatnot and uh, pictures as well. Not pictures, but like there's uh, decals on it as well. I guess decals would be the correct yeah whatever uh insight rover for the hunters i think the helmet's decent i think the arms are cool i think that chest piece is probably the best piece from the whole set boots are kind of boring and i don't like the cloak at all titans insight unyielding definitely i really like it because of the boots the boots i ended up using for a i say a mongolian look but it's like just like a, like an like an asian themed look for my titan i really really like the boots chest piece you, or the helmet you can also use for that as well the arm is yet and chest piece so anything that you see that's that orange will not change color unfortunately that goes for everything but the boots so do that with do that do do with that information which you will for the insight victi set or suit i like the helmet and the chest piece i think the arms boots and bond are very boring so let me know what you guys think about 801 before we go to everest i did forget to mention the fit for the video so i might as well show you guys uh, i don't yeah i've already so yeah let's just look at it so shadow mask uh because i was originally wearing this one right here and i don't hate it like i de i genuinely think it does look cool but i think it looks better with these boots instead which is why i switched them out like i think this looks way better maybe have more cloth on the arms or something like that because again if, you're, if I'm going to do this, it's going to go for more of a ninja look. So I would definitely switch out the arms. But we don't have a Japanese inspired look that has cloth arms. At least a good one. So that's why I didn't do that. Uh, arms are Iron Simiki grips. These are one of my favorite arms. And funnily enough, they're being sold by Saladin now. So now's the perfect time to get into that. Iron Fellowship Strides, I think he's also selling this one. I mean, we'll see when he comes back. And then for the uh, cloak, it's going to be the Untethered Edge Cape for the uh chess piece it's gonna be the six coyote one of my favorite chess piece uh yeah i definitely think this looks cool my only gripe with it like the, the my actual like critique of it is the fact that like i don't like this right here um i think this collar thing kind of ruins it a little bit for me it does go really really cool with the actual chess piece but i am not the type that combines multiple pieces into one set rarely do i do that so that's why i'm like i like it i like this and i like the back a lot it's just that this is a little too much for me um i think it would have been better if they like if they cut it off like maybe right here so that way like it would have just been like a i don't know they, this could have definitely been part of the chest piece because i feel like part of the cloak is just a little too much for the shadering whisper sheen just because i wanted a wood look but yeah, I really like this. I cannot wait to get this armor so I can start mixing and matching because the, the armor is actually really cool. So that is the fit for the video. Apologies that it came out so late, but let's go to Ever Eververse real quick. I forgot what she's selling. So minimalism, I could have sworn this, this doesn't look bad. Oh, this is from last season. Okay, that makes more sense. This shader looks really cool though. We have Royal Treatment. I definitely would recommend Royal Treatment if you like the armor 
from the void armor set this one right here the abyss walker for the hunters if you like this coloring that's abyss walker so definitely pick it up if you want it because i do think abyss walker is a really good shader let me go back up pyramid entrance transmat effect we have intrepid discovery stride so uh last week it was the arms this week is the boots so definitely make sure you pick these up i will most likely be making a video of the intrepid stuff for all the classes um so hopefully you've been picking some up some of the pieces you don't even have to pick all of them up like if you don't have enough bright dust just make sure you pick up at least one or two because then you do get a discount on the silver you it won't like it it like discounts it for each piece that you get i think i have no i don't so like if i had like the helmet and the cloak it would go down to like i think either 10 bucks or like eight bucks or something like that so it does go down the more pieces you get so that is really cool if you're interested in getting it just get like two or three pieces and it'll be cheaper i what i would do is probably just get enough pieces where it's just 10 bucks and just pick it up from there or you can just go as low as you want or just get it all for free because you also have that option uh, wiggle worm this is from season of the witch Oh, I like that it explodes at the end. I kind of want it now. Uh, for the stuff at the bottom, Augmented apothe ap Apotheosis, which too bad this got nerfed again. Um, I'm also not the div bitch when I'm, when I'm playing with my clan, so I don't really care for this. Uh, renewal Grasps. Uh, isochronal Nano Fluid. So, like, I'm not the biggest fan of this ornament. It's not bad. I just don't like it, like personally. Um, I don't know what it is, cause it looks cool, visually it looks cool. I guess it's just annoying to sh like fashion with other stuff. I guess that's my main focus, cause like if I had a chest piece that had like a big fan in the middle, I think that would be really cool, cause then it would go with the with the arms, and then I could probably get into it. But I did make a video on this as well, specifically uh, when the ornament first came out for Season of the Seraph. So if you are interested, um, check out the Season of the Seraph Hunter exotic ornaments because that yeah i definitely made a video for it um we'll look at the titan and warlock uh after we're done looking at all this stuff segment rig oh that's why <clears throat> Yeah, I don't think this looks bad. Um, what what the fuck is even the like thing for this? It looks beauty is its own own form of brawn. Okay. Uh, razor scale shell, which is the dragon inspired one. A tiny friend. Weekday dance. And then for the other stuff, we have sub, sub, Subjugator Entrance. Doesn't look bad. Uh, twin Snake Effects. That's pretty cool. Reflection Effects. And then for the Shader Shifting Cross Phase, which is a new shader. Or, she's a shader. Yeah, it is a new shader. Doesn't look bad. I'm just not the biggest fan of yellow, personally. Or yellow-orange, whatever. Yellow-orange, those two colors. Empirical Imperative, which is a dope shader. People sleep on this shader, but it's amazing. Uh, especially if you combine it with like a uh, Warmind inspired stuff, considering this is from Season of the Seraph. But uh, Titan specifically, it looks really good on you guys. T Tyrion Abyss. Not a fan of this shader personally. The off white is kind of gross, but I definitely want to use it just to see like, to see if it's like, okay, like I really don't like this, or it's just I usually use it in pieces that don't look good with it. And then Bruised Blush, which I don't even remember this one. Uh, I remember this one now. No, I'm not a fan of this one. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I will be... Let's Actually, let's talk about this while we go to switch to the Titan and Warlock. So I really need to start working on the content that I'm working on. Or pushing out the content that I'm working on. Specifically, 
I'm already done with all of the hunter campaign stuff. I, what is this? Oh, this is a cutscene for the new season or the new thing. That's not me, by the way. Um, so, oh, is it going to start me off on a mission? I think it is. Hold on. That's fine. Uh, we'll just back out. Uh, actually, we don't even have to back out. We just need to see what's what they're selling. Oh, Abyss Inverted. That's right. Definitely pick this one up, guys. It's really, really cool. Oh my god, I, I don't fuck. I think they fucked it because now we can't turn off the glow for the chest piece. I'm gonna have to test that out. Uh, specifically, I'm just gonna have to test that shader out in general because they fucked that up. But definitely, Abyss Inverted is a really good ornament for Titans. Definitely pick it up. And Warlocks, you guys got Rainant Tracery for what's this exotic called? Uh, Secan Filaments. I definitely like this ornament a lot. It's very, very bougie, and the stones do change color. So for those who are like wondering, that does change color. It's really cool. One of my favorite ornaments because it is fucking awesome. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. So yeah, I need to really start pushing out because the hunter campaign's already done. It's been done, bro. It's been done since week one. Um, thankfully, I've rendered all of it, so I will be pushing that out as soon as possible. I have to make a schedule for all of the content because not only is the hunter campaign stuff done um the titan stuff is done tech no i I've, I've completed it i just haven't edited it and the warlocks i to be honest i still haven't even done the campaign yet because uh why would i but i'm gonna be working on it a bit i'm still deciding whether or not i even want to do the campaign for the other classes because specifically like once you do it on one class do i really need to show you guys the second one that's kind of like where my thought process goes but we'll see uh, I'm also working on the new exotic uh, that everyone got, specifically hunters. I have both of yours already, hunter or titans and warlocks. I need to get an exotic uh, engram to complete yours because I've already I've already leveled up the cryptarch, so that way I can actually get the new exotics. That being said, hunters will probably go first as always, just because I have the exotics already. Uh, I'm working on this armor right here. Where are you, baby girl? Um, did I erase it? This one. First Ascent, this is the armor from the uh, Pale Heart. I already have the review video and the shader video, like, rec not recorded, but re uh, actually the review video, I need to edit my voice into it, and then the shader video is already done. So those two videos are gonna be coming out probably within this week, and then the class-specific videos will go come out later because I wanna do the reviews first for all of the armor that we got which is this armor is also one that i'm going to be doing as well once i get all of the armor for it so i will most likely be pushing the first ascent stuff first um i still need to buy the uh dnd armor set even though i don't really like it uh honestly i really don't like it for like any of the classes i do like certain pieces for sure helmet for the titans is really cool boots as well uh i think the chest piece is gonna be really interesting uh, hunters, I think the helmet's super cool. Boots are super cool. I think uh, the cloak is very usable. And the arms are like, the only thing I don't really like. And Warlocks, I think everything but the helmet is pretty cool. Except the arms are the, are the bond I can definitely see myself using. Especially if it moves. That'd be really cool. But that helmet it just looks super gross. Um, I also am thinking about getting the Rat King's crown. I'm also working on the exotic videos and their ornaments so i will most likely be posting the ornaments in there as well which means i will not be posting a ornament video for the classes because they're new exotics so i'm just gonna bundle them up with the exotic video and then the exotic cloaks or the exotic class items i will also be doing for the base look and the ornament as well so i have quite a bit of content that i'm gonna be going through this looks fucking cool oh my god and I'm also working on a video for one shot specifically. We're going to be reviewing the weapon. I really like this weapon, but we're also going to be doing a fashion like inspired look for this ornament and the base look of it. So the base looks probably just going to be a generic hunter look while this is going to be like a very regal looking hunter. So I have a lot of content planned. I just don't have that much time to make the content. So please be patient with me. Um, I work like 40 hours a week now. So that we, that means I don't have as much time as I used to. So that's why the content's taking a little bit longer. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.